The Earth is facing the largest solar storm in the last 14 for 300 years, science warns. A massive cosmic event that occurred around 14,300 years ago was so powerful that it left a noticeable mark on our planet. In partially fossilized tree trunks and excavated cores of millennia-old ice, scientists have found evidence suggesting that a massive space event took place around 12,050 BCE. A new study using a specially developed climate chemical model confirms this. The culprit behind the huge influx of particles at that time was a giant solar event that showered Earth with particles during the largest geomagnetic storm ever recorded on the planet. In comparison to the largest event of the modern satellite era, the particle storm of 2005, the ancient event that occurred between January and April of 12,050 BCE was over 500 times more intense, according to our estimates, said space physicist Ksenia Golubenko from the University of Ulu in Finland. The sun is once again active, with sunspots emitting solar flares, one of which stretched an incredible 1 million kilometers. Last year, our star was active for several weeks, releasing coronal mass ejections, causing auroras on Earth and disrupting radio signals. However, what we experienced is nothing compared to what happened 14,300 years ago. That was when the strongest solar storm in the planet's history occurred, the first one at the end of the last ice age. A study published in Earth and Planetary Science Letters notes that this extreme event happened in 12,050 BCE. Until now, solar storms have only affected communications and created auroras on Earth. However, a stronger storm has the potential to destroy the planet's magnetic field and disrupt wider technological systems. These storms are known as Extreme Solar Particle Events EOSPE, and only eight have been registered in the last 12,000 years. The strongest occurred in the year 775 CE. Now scientists have discovered an SPE that occurred before this and was 18% stronger than the one in 775 CE. The discovery was made from preserved tree data in Europe. Specifically, tree rings are known to capture radiocarbon spikes in the atmosphere that happen during solar storms. Researchers created a model called SOCAL 14CS6 and used radiocarbon data found in trees from southwestern Europe. Could an extreme solar particle event happen today? Solar storms have become quite frequent in recent years, as it is believed the Sun has entered an extremely active phase. This week, on May 14th, it emitted Class X flares, the strongest of all. A geomagnetic storm is not currently on the horizon, although the sunspot is slowly turning toward Earth. However, experts say people shouldn't worry about something as extreme as the 12,050 BCE event occurring in their lifetimes. According to a 2024 study, SPEs are more powerful than anything ever experienced in modern times. It states that ESPEs are up to three orders of magnitude stronger than any previously recorded solar particle event. A geomagnetic storm is typically associated with a coronal mass ejection, a massive release of billions of tons of plasma entangled with magnetic fields from the Sun. When this influx of particles hits Earth, all kinds of strange phenomena can occur. Aurora Australis and Aurora Borealis are the most well-known manifestations of geomagnetic storms, but such disturbances can become dangerous when they interfere with our technology. The most well-known example is the Carrington event of September 1859, during which atmospheric currents spread across Earth's surface destroying telegraph systems around the world, causing fires and chaos. Another major geomagnetic storm in 1989 caused widespread power outages and failures in the electrical grid. We know the Sun is capable of much larger eruptions, but since human records of solar storms are, at best, inconsistent, it is difficult to estimate how strong a geomagnetic storm can get. However, one characteristic of geomagnetic storms is that they temporarily increase the amount of radioactive carbon-14 constantly falling to Earth. This radiocarbon is produced in the upper atmosphere when cosmic particles, such as those ejected by the Sun, interact with atmospheric particles. Carbon-14 becomes incorporated into organisms, such as trees and animals. And because it decays at a known rate, scientists can use it to determine when those organisms lived. 
Here's where it gets interesting. A massive spike in carbon-14 in a tree ring can be used not only to detect, but also to narrow down the date of a geomagnetic storm. This is what researchers did to identify a potential giant geomagnetic storm from 14,000 years ago, as explained in a 2023 paper. Other such events have been traced to around 9994 CE, 660 B, 5259 BCE, and 7176 BCE, with the most recent, and previously the largest known, occurring in 774 CE, 